I am getting actually a, a beer essence from it. Bush and a nothing. Coors Edge smelled like a foot. And welcome to the beer garden on a horrendously windy day here. And before we get too far into this, please let me know what town and state or town and country you are watching this brew review from as we are here uh, in dry January in front of the fireless pit. And like I said, please uh, take a drink for every time you see something blow over during this brew review. Town and state or town and country, I love to see where my viewers are watching from. Hello to Western Slope, Colorado, checking in. Oskaloosa, Iowa, good to have you on the Brew Review. Weaver, Alabama, and let's take it international here on the Brew Review. Bangor, Northern Ireland, good to have all of you along. Town and state or town and country where you're watching from on a frigid, dry January day. Uh, as I'm recording this, we're about halfway through dry January. And up this round, we're doing a versus, ding, ding, from Anheuser-Busch. Oh, duels and Budweiser Zero. A lot of you have been asking me to review Budweiser Zero, zero percent alcohol. This one does not say it is a malt beverage. Check out some of my other NA reviews during dry January. Like Oh, duels, it says malt beverage contains less than 0.5 percent alcohol by volume. Golden non-alcoholic group. Uh, oh, duels comes in two versions. This is the golden version. Uh, if we get a chance before dry January is over, maybe we'll do the amber. And uh, of course, Budweiser Zero. Uh, I, I'm, if you know me and you've seen this brew review channel, uh, you know I'm not a big fan of Anheuser-Busch. It's just so, I, well, I'm not a fan of the taste. Uh, it's just so mass produced, just so they've dumbed it down to the absolute mass audience uh, that they can find and uh, they've been doing pretty good for themselves except for that whole Bud Light controversy thing but don't have to worry about this here. Uh, of course we will be drinking as my glasses go sliding across uh, the, the table here. Odul's will be out of the brand new green label for 2024 Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review Pint Glass and we will be pouring the Budweiser Zero back into the retro 2023 red label the Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review Pint Glass. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a pour. Of course, we will be twisting off these because they are cheap brews. Uh, and by cheap, I don't mean in price. For whatever reason, I can't figure out why these non-alcohol brews are the same uh, price as regular beers, real beers with alcohol in it. I don't know. Uh, but Zero was the cheaper of some of the non-alcoholic brews. I think this was $8.99 a six pack. Uh, no big surprises here. What they say about Budweiser Zero, 0% 0 alcohol with all the taste of Budweiser. I'm not a fan of the taste of Budweiser, so we'll see how this goes. All right, let's give, oh, let's hold that there. Oh, this is time for a twist off of the O'Doul's, also from Anheuser-Busch. This stuff is gonna go flying in this Gusty, we've got 30 and 40 mile an hour wind gust here. As my gloves are, uh, what what is in my beer? I should say, what is in my non-alcoholic beer? I hope that's just a piece of grass. That's all in there. All right, wow. Odul's has a uh, quite an aroma coming off of it. Get the. There we go. That's what was in. That's what was in it. It's a piece of grass. All right, let's compare the two. Green, the O'Doul's, red, the Budweiser Zero. Uh, Budweiser Zero, slightly darker than the lighter O'Doul's. Let's go for the nose, shall we? When I think of O'Doul's, I think of my wife when we were having, when she was pregnant with our first child, our, our older son, uh, she got craving for beer and uh, she drank old Duels uh, pretty much throughout most of her pregnancy. All right, uh, for the nose of the O'Doul's, I am getting actually a, a beer essence from it. Check out some of my other non-alcoholic brew reviews where nothing, like Bush N.A., nothing. Uh, Coors Edge smelled like a foot. I'm getting some, some sweetness. 
a uh, little bit of malt coming out of it, so uh, that's encouraging. Over to the Bud Zero. Uh, a little more of that cheap beer bites kind of that, that a Budweiser has. Not quite as sweet. Uh, a little bit more yeastiness in it. And I'm still not clear on how they make this non-alcoholic beer. I, I don't know how they do it. Whether, I just don't know. If anyone knows, uh, please explain uh, in the comments because I'm just baffled. And coming up, I'm gonna rate these two, which one I like better. I'll, I'll give them both uh, out of five stars, how much I like them, and of course, which one is the better non-alcoholic brew, the better tasting non-alcohol brew. Um, and I am starting to develop an appreciation for these non-alcohol brews. I, I started out dry January as going, what's the point? You know, it's like uh, having decaf coffee. Uh, it was the thing. But what I'm finding out is uh, I really like the taste of beer. And over the last year or so, I found myself drinking uh, more beer than I probably should be. And I don't enjoy the negative effects of uh, the alcohol and until dry January, I never really realized how much I appreciate or like the taste of beer. And when you can pound these things back and have no after effects whatsoever, no hangovers, no headaches, uh, you remember everything that you remember the end of the football game, uh, you know, it makes a big difference. Uh, so I am uh, beginning to appreciate uh, the non-alcohol beer. Of course, town and state, town and country where you are viewing from, let's go for the O'Doul's. And uh, here in the beer garden, you never drink alone. So grab yourself a brew, non-alcoholic or alcoholic. And if it's not alcoholic, have two, one for me. Here's to dry January, O'Doul's. Cheers. I have to pace myself. It's so cold out here right now. This is such a cold beer, non-alcohol beer. <clears throat> Very crisp, very smooth. Now I can see why my wife drank these nonstop while she was pregnant. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of uh, Anheuser-Busch taste, Budweiser products, Odul's is that, one of those. Uh, but that is a crisp, non-offensive, a clean tasting beer. I almost wish it had alcohol in it. Wow, okay. Uh, all right, I, we need a palate cleanser. <clears throat> we, didn't, we didn't think of getting a palate cleanser, did we? Just dive on into the Bud Zero, you say. All right. Um, this Budweiser Zero uh, says all the taste of Budweiser without the alcohol. Uh, this one does not say malt beverage. I did a slight amount of research into this. And somehow they brew it with alcohol in it, and then they cold extract the alcohol. I don't, it sounds made up to me. I don't know. All right, so Budweiser Zero. And if you're watching this and you had both of these, tell me which one you prefer. Uh, coming up just a couple of minutes, I will give you uh, which one I prefer. The darker in color, uh, the lighter in aroma. Okay, all right, cheers. Hold up, wait a minute. Uh, let's take a look at our lacing, shall we? The white foam that sticks to the inside of the glasses denoting some sort of quality in the, uh, in the beer. All right, both are hanging in there, O'Doul's and Budweiser Zero. Ha, ah, I gotta tell you, if you like Budweiser, and uh, you don't like the effects of alcohol, you will like Budweiser Zero. I don't like the taste of Budweiser, but this isn't bad. If this had alcohol in it, I would might drink it. It doesn't taste like Budweiser to me. Uh, it tastes like a Budweiser 
product is somewhere in the family, maybe a cousin or uh, maybe a brother or step sister of Budweiser. It's similar, but I think it has a better flavor to it. I didn't realize I would say that. Uh, O'Doul's, uh, yeah, a really good flavor to it. If this had alcohol in it, wow. Uh, attention, Anheuser-Busch, can you make an O'Doul's and put alcohol in it? I know it's probably defeating the whole purpose of, of the beer, but hey. Uh, uh, Bud, what did I say this was? Budweiser Zero, did I give the price on that? It was somewhere $7.99 or, or $8.99, a six pack. Uh, O'Doul's was right around the same. When I think of non-alcoholic beers, though, O'Doul's is what I think of. Uh, I don't know if it was the first to ever do a non-alcoholic brew, but uh, that's what I think of. Sort of when you make the joke about people not drinking alcohol. What are you drinking at O'Doul's? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me give which one I prefer, and then I'll give you the scores out of five stars. Um, and uh, before I do that, please check out some of my over 200 brew reviews on this channel, most of them with alcohol. I've only done this non-alcohol thing for uh, dry January uh, here in the year 2024, regardless of the time of the year uh, or year that you're watching this. Out of the two, I'm surprised that I like both of them. Uh, but out of O'Doul's or Budweiser Zero, O'Doul's or Budweiser Zero, I think I prefer the O'Doul's to the Budweiser Zero. It's a little sweeter uh, and tastes a little more well-rounded. Budweiser Zero has a little more of that cheap beer bite to it. <clears throat> oh, that's what I was waiting for, thanks. And, uh, but it, again, it's not bad. So uh, with that said, is a catchphrase I hate using, uh, what am I gonna rank out of five stars, five being a very good, cheap, eh, non-alcohol brew, let's put it that way. Five being a very good, non-alcoholic brew, oh, duels. I'm gonna put you up on the four shelf. Wow. Um, uh, and it is enjoyable just drinking as it is. Uh, so I'm going to put you about a 4.44 4 out of 5 stars. So let's go to the Budweiser Zero. Also uh, pleasant to drink. Uh, I almost feel emasculated by saying that. Out of 5 stars though, I'm not going to put you on the 4 shelf, I don't think. But it's up there. It's not bad. Uh, 3.97 out of 5 stars for the Bud Zero. So there you go. Uh, really, let me know which one you prefer if you've had both in the comments below. And of course, town and state, town and country where you're viewing from. And please tap that subscribe button if you haven't done already. It really helps out with the algorithm <laughs> and uh, helps with the channel. I really appreciate that. So hey, uh, enjoy your dry January. Uh, let me know how you're doing with the dry January and uh, maybe your dry January extends beyond just the month. Uh, let me know uh, why you choose not to partake in alcohol and uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Hey, again, thank you for your uh, view, sub, and support and uh, I will see you in the next brew review. I've got over 200 of these so please subscribe and check out some more of them. Cheers. It's a beautiful day here in the beer garden. Absolutely freezing. Mm-hmm.